fucking kidding me? Motherfucking Paris? I told you about Paris, Helen. I told you about this whole idea. What, Lillian? What are you gonna go? What are you gonna go to Paris with Helen now? What are you guys gonna ride around on bikes with berets and fucking baguettes in the basket in front of your bikes? Oh, how romantic. What woman gives another woman a trip to Paris? Am I right? Lesbian, we're all thinking it, aren't we? Right? We're all thinking it. Lillian, this is not the you that I know. The you that I know would have walked in here and rolled your eyes and thought this idea was completely over the top ridiculous and stupid. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll use that thick skull yours as a batting ram hard on. Why? His head would just squash like an eggplant, Mac. <laughs> a piece of shit. Duchess, baby! Don't you fucking duchess me! Hey, I'm sorry. Don't you duchess me. Do you really think I don't know what you're up to? What? You're a father now, Jordan. Yeah? You're a father now. I know. And you're still yes. acting like an infant! Fuck! God damn it! You got real anger issues. You got psychological problems. Who was the one who flew in here at 3 in the morning on their stupid helicopter and woke up Skylar? Oh, that was Skylar. You. Fucking bullshit. Oh, you forgot that it doesn't even matter to you? Does it even matter to you that I just had that driving range started with Bermuda grass? Oh my god, Bermuda grass? No, you didn't have to research the whole thing. I had to deal with those fucking golf course people, too. Oh my god, you had to deal with the golf course people, too? Oh, what a Greek tragedy, honey. Okay, I'm not gonna be a part of this anymore. Sit down. Would you like me to list them for you? No. Then what do you want? Nothing. I just want to talk. Well, what's there to talk about? Five here agree. Nobody had to think otherwise except you. I want to ask you something. Do you believe a story? I don't know whether I believe it or not. Maybe I don't. So then what'd you vote not guilty for? There were five votes for guilty. It's not easy for me to raise my hand and send a boy off to die without talking about it first. Who says it's easy for me? No one. What, just because I voted fast? I think the guy's guilty. You couldn't change my mind even if you talked for a hundred years. I'm not trying to change your mind. It's just, we're talking about someone's life here, and I think we can decide in more than five minutes. Suppose we're wrong. Suppose we're wrong? Suppose this whole building fell on my head. You could suppose anything. That's right. What's the difference how long it takes? We honestly think he's guilty, so suppose we finish in five minutes. So what? Let's take an hour, then. The ball game doesn't start until 8 o'clock. Okay, Slugger, be my guest. Look, I didn't come here to yell at you. I came to tell you that I know you're afraid to show who you are. I was, but I'm not anymore. And the truth is, is that I don't care what people think about me because I believe in myself and I know that things are gonna be okay. But even though I have no family, no job, and no money for college, it's you that I feel sorry for. I know that guy that sent those emails is somewhere deep inside of you, but I can't wait for him because waiting for you is like waiting for rain in this drought. Useless and disappointing.